Good morning children. Today I am here with another chapter in English grammar. Chapter number 8. Synonyms and antonyms. To, today we will learn about synonyms. In the next class we will learn about antonyms. Now to know more about synonyms let us see some examples. Now look at this picture. Seeing the picture, you will say beautiful. Right? So we can also say pretty. Now see this train. We will say fast. Or we can also say quick. Now, this elephant, can we call it large? We can also call it big. Look at this picture. Seeing the picture, which word comes in your mind? Tiny or you can say small, right? So, we can use word like tiny or small which means the same. Now look at this picture. What we will say? Glow. They are glowing. Right? We can also say shine or shining. So glow and shine means the same. Now see this, what it shows? Anger, right? What else we can say for anger? Fury. Then we can say sleep, we can use word sleep. We can also say nap. In all the above examples, we saw that each picture had two words or two meanings. So, they are synonyms. Synonyms is a word that has the same or almost the same meaning as another word. Time to do exercises from the textbook. So be ready with your textbook. Today we are doing exercise A, B, C on page number 23 and 24 and exercise A on page number 39. A synonym is a word that has the same or almost the same meaning as another word. For example, anger, fury, it means the same. Or we say glow or shine. Or we say faithful or loyal. Same way, we can even say start. When we say start, we can also say begin. Right children? So today we are going to learn more words that are same in meaning. That means we are going to learn more synonyms. Let us see this exercise. Exercise A. Match the words in column A with their synonyms in column B. Let us do it children. Now before we start reading all the words, we will be drawing Lines like this. Okay. In column B, just before the words. So that when we match, we can write the numbers. So let's start 
Number one is start. Oh, so what is the what is the synonym of start? I said let's start. So can I say let's begin? It means the same, correct? So let us find the word begin. Yes, it is here. So come on, let's match. Number one, start. The synonym of start is begin. Then two is join. Now when you join something together, okay, can we say connect? Right? Either we say join or connect. It means the same. So let us find the word connect and write number two. Next, hot. Now, if you feel something is hot, what you say, either you can say hot or you can even say warm, right? So, where is the word warm? Yes, the last one. All of you write number three. Next to warm. Next is sad. And another word of sad is unhappy. You all know this, correct? So, let's write number four before unhappy. Okay, now the next word is big. A big elephant. What else we can say for big? Large or huge. Okay, so here what is given here? Large. So, let us write large. And the last one, end. I ended my work. Or we can say, I finished my work. It means the same, correct? So, let's write number 6 before finish. Now, let's go to the next exercise on the next page. Exercise B. Tick the words nearest in meaning to the words given below. Let us try. Three options are given. You have to choose the correct one. Beside. Now what can be beside means something next to you. Okay. So is below correct? No. Near? Yes. Above? No. So which is the right word? Near. Beside and near are the same. So put a tick. Number two, heap. Now heap, which word goes with heap? Group, crowd, pile. Pile, right? Heap and pile means the same. Now children, what is the meaning of heap or pile? When you put too many things on top of the other, it means heap or pile. Say you have many books and you put one on the top of the other, you can call it pile or heap. Let's go to the next one, strange. Strange, options are uncommon, bad, nice. Now bad and nice. Do not match with strange. But on uncommon does. Right? So let us put a tick on uncommon. Then sure. What will come with sure? Now sure is the land near the sea. The, near the edge of a sea or a lake. Okay? So what will be the right option? Sea, beach and house. Now beach means the land or the edge near the sea. Isn't it? So shore and beach they match. So they are synonyms. Page number 7. Rewrite the following sentences, substituting the underlined words with their synonyms. Now children, your words are given and you have to use these words with 
for the words given below below in the underlined word in the sentences can you see them so you have to find out the synonym of these words from the box given above let's start now here children we will not write the whole sentence okay we will read the sentence and we will find out the synonym of that word and write only the word in the blank i will show you how i have written same way you also write it down in your textbook number 1 my mother told my sister to select one out of the three dresses now let us find the synonym of select clean no choose correct so select means choose so write it down just below the word select can you see children where i have written choose i have written it just below select so you also write only the synonym no need to write the whole sentence same way we will write all the synonyms we will not write the sentence okay number 2 keep your room tidy now what was the word we just read clean clean means tidy so let's write the synonym clean for tidy number 3 who will excuse you for such a mistake let's read the other words children sure no pardon now pardon means excuse okay so will you pardon who will pardon you for such mistake number 4 i am certain that she will call back we already read the synonym for certain that is sure it means the same so let us write sure number 5 mrs kamath gave us a brief lecture on good manners let's read more words happy no short here children brief means something small or short so we found the synonym for brief let us write short next i am pleased to see you here you found we i just read out right pleased means happy so all of you come on write happy next he rushed out of the room now we have to read again the synonyms that are left tasty tasty goes with rushed no ran yes ran goes right so come on write ran for rushed next number 8 the soup was delicious delicious means something which you like the most okay which has a very good taste so we already found the word tasty so let's write number 9 dogs are the most loyal pets now two words are left let's read both the words first one is gleamed and the second one is faithful so what will come here children faithful right for loyal so come on let's write faithful now the last one the sun shone brightly shone and gleamed means the same so write the synonym for shone gleamed
वन मोर एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज ए वर्कशीट नाइन ऑन पेज नंबर थर्टी नाइन देर आर टू वर्ड्स दैट हैव सिमिलर मीनिंग्स इन ईच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस अंडरलाइन देम लेट अस रीड द सेंटेंस find out the words which are synonym to each other that means they have similar meaning and we will underline them number 1 the cakes are tasty but the tarts are more delicious yes tasty and delicious they are synonyms so underline them number 2 mr and mrs goel always screams at their workers but they never shout back did you find the synonyms children scream and tell me shout yes so let's underline Number three, Anju was looking beautiful in her gorgeous silver dress. Where are the synonyms, children? Beautiful and gorgeous. Number four, the red flowers had been wrapped with a scarlet. ribbon here do you know where are the synonyms okay so i'll help you you have to find the synonym of red yes the word scarlet okay we also call it scarlet number 5 if you look out of the window you will see the garden Where are the synonyms? Look and see. Number six, the blue desk was kept next to the wooden table. Yes, desk and table they mean the same. Number seven, the empty boxes. were lying outside a bare room empty and the synonym of empty is bare empty boxes or bare boxes you can say empty room or bare room okay so underline empty and bare number 8 the last sentence put the waste in the dustbin and keep your surroundings free of litter yes waste and litter they are synonyms so children we complete synonyms here and all the exercises related to synonyms in the next class we will complete and learn about antonyms so till then have a nice day thank you